The Arizona Cardinals are off to Washington for week one, taking on the Commanders, who have a whole new vibe about them. So can Sam Howell hand their new owners a W right out of the gate? Sam Howell's first career pass! 16 yard touchdown to Terry McLaurin. Howell is one of the biggest X factors in the NFL this season. He dipped his toes into the waters at the very end of last year, so not much to go off yet for the 2022 fifth round pick. Steps back, steps up, launches one deep down the field to Terry McLaurin. It's caught at the 15 yard line. How's a bomb? Howell couldn't ask for a much better defense to face to start the season. Arizona gave up the highest completion percentage in the NFL in 2022, allowed the second highest rating, and they didn't bring in any new big names over the offseason. And pass into the end zone, wide open, touchdown Denver. That doesn't mean they don't have some dudes who can ball in their secondary. Howell has to know where safety Buda Baker is at all times. He made the Pro Bowl last year. What they do, man? What they do, man? Let's go, man. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. And one of the best one on one matchups in the game will involve Arizona cornerback Marco Wilson. He had a great 2022. He faced more targets than any Cardinal, rating a loud low 80s. Tipped into the air and it's picked off at the 30 yard line. So expect him to try and take away Washington wide receiver Terry McLaurin if he's there to take away. They think he'll be healthy enough to go. They excited that we back. I'm excited that we back. McLaurin put up over 1,100 yards. He's still the commander's scariest offensive weapon. Come on, man. Should Wilson make it hard for Howell to connect with McLaurin, Sam can turn to wide receiver Jahan Dotson, who is looking to build off a nice rookie year, scored seven times in 12 games. Throws a fade towards Dotson, who fights for it and makes a catch! Howell's inside targets tight end Logan Thomas, he didn't do too much last year, and slot wide receiver Curtis Samuel hauled in over 650 yards in 2022. Throws toward the end zone, it's got Samuel caught! Touchdown! Another reason Washington fans might be going commando this week, Arizona's pass rush, or lack thereof. Howell doesn't have to worry about J.J. Watt, and the Cardinals won't be fielding anyone who cracked five sacks in 2022. Caught! It's good! It's good! And for what it's worth, Arizona wasn't very good at stopping runners last year either. They're hoping Kazir White, who came over with new head coach Jonathan Gannon, can make an impact on that front. He was a 110 tackle guy for the Eagles. It'll be a toss from Goff to start the day to DeAndre Swift. And a good play by Kazir White. This game will be the first time we see what Gannon's touch could mean to the Arizona defense. What can he get out of the collection of players he's working with? because I don't believe in a scheme. I believe in putting the players that we have in positions to be successful. As for the Cardinals offense, they decided to go with Joshua Dobbs at QB. Don't be shocked if you see rookie Clayton Toon either. Now Dobbs, third long, pressure! Unlike Howell, Arizona's QBs won't be facing a defense that was easy to move the ball against last year and doesn't appear to be one that will be easier to do so against this year either. Touchdown, Washington! Oh, baby. Avoiding Washington's pass rush, which is as loaded as Homer Simpson after a night at Moe's. He has to hope the Rock'em Sock'em Robot Brothers don't set up camp in his pocket. Arizona's line has to try and keep Jonathan Allen at bay. Pro Bowler in 2022, seven and a half QB takedowns. Going there is one, I promise you. Ain't nobody messing with us, bring it up. And his partner, Deron Payne, who broke on through to the other side 11 and a half times. It's the top DT pair in the game in Game Preview Guy's humble opinion. It's coming, Watson gets pounded near the pocket and then ripped down. Arizona's O-line has to be just as concerned with the blokes coming off the edges too. Montez Sweat visited Mom eight times last year. Into escape, he can't. This time it's Montez Sweat. And what if there's a Bigfoot sighting this week? It's a big year for Washington defensive end Chase Young. Needs to show he's more man than myth. Person in motion, handoff, nothing there. Chase Young, there he is, the disruptor. Young and Sweat will test Arizona's first round pick, tackle Paris Johnson, who makes his regular season debut. When Arizona puts the ball up, Top outside guy, wide receiver Marquise Brown, takes over as WR1 in Arizona, little over 700 yards in 2022. Catch made, Hollywood Brown trying to shake loose, and he does! Wide receivers Rondale Moore, he's hoping for a healthier year, Greg Dortch, McCoy's other primary wide receiver options on Sunday, Zach Ertz, the tight end again. Murray, quick throw, on the slant, it's Ertz for the touchdown! 
The secondary those chaps are up against was solid last year, but will be leaning on two rookies this week and this season, so debut time for Washington cornerback Emmanuel Forbes, who they took in the first round. And a nice play made, coming up out of the secondary and the rookie. Cornerback Jatavius Martin, their second rounder, will also see plenty of reps. Martin's got room to run. But how many passes will they actually face? With the QB situation what it is, it may be best for Arizona's offense to keep things close to the ground. Running back James Conner hit at a respectable 4.3 a run in 2022, ran for close to 800 yards, scored seven times. Connor houses it. Washington's run defense wasn't a particular strength for them last year, but they have a new inside linebacker. Connor will run into Cody Barton quite a bit. Over 130 tackles in 2022, only 14 guys had more. Third downs, Williams gets the catch and the tackle made by Barton. He's had a nice night. It's that time of the year, optimism abounds, and so does game preview guy. I abound plenty in this bag of mine. If you're a vet, you know the deal. If you're new to this, you are in charge of the written portion of the preview. Hit things we left on the cutting room table. We have our panel of 10 back to give weekly predictions. Happy kickoff 2023. The panel, by the way, NFL Network folk, Colleen Wolf, Daniel Jeremiah, MJD, Adam Rank, Marcus Grant, NFL.com writers Kevin Patra, Grant Gordon, Eric Edelm, Nick Shook, eventually those little dashes will show who's doing best.